Scott Weeders here talking about pimping. Yeah, we love to pimp poor medical students, and it's so crazy. I'm not a huge fan, and when, when pimping happens, it creates a lot of emotions in students, and the good students, the experienced students that we've probably seen, can get out of this. And so I want to talk about pimping avoidance, and I'm going to reference an article that I found in JAMA 2009 by Detsky and colleagues titled The Art of Pimping, and in that, they go through some of the things that students might do to avoid pimping. So, here's our clinical situation. We've got someone talking about syphilis. And watch the young lady in the middle with the stethoscope around her neck with the long, dark hair. She doesn't want to answer the question, so she camouflages into the back of the group. Therefore, front people are right on the front lines, and they're going to get hit with the first pimp question. The next division is a full eclipse. You couldn't even see her when she asked that question. It's not even possible for the instructor to see this poor student. And um, how many stages of syphilis are there? Let's see. Um, Sean, what do you think? Um, I think there's three. Okay, good. Yeah, so there's three different stages of syphilis. We all know that. And then um, there's Next, if you get pointed, have some food close and stuff the muffin right in your mouth so that it's impossible. Who would ask someone a question when they've got a mouthful of food? That's just so rude. So it immediately goes to the student to her left. So the next stage is if there's a long list and saying everyone participate is to pretend you're in meditation and you're not paying attention, but you're looking over your notes, your patients, and you're trying to figure things out. And then when the question comes to you, you don't think of something unique, you actually fake repeat. So she's just repeating an answer someone else gave. And the reason was, oh, I was studying, I was looking over my patients, and no one can blame you for doing that. Now, the last hope. You get pointed out, you're asked a question, and what should you do? You should politicize it. A better question might be, do we need to treat syphilis? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Uh, so do we even need to treat syphilis, she asks. Gosh, how do you respond to that? Well, that's a deep philosophical question. So, in summary, when we're pimping students, be aware of these pimping avoidance techniques. If you can diagnose them, next you can treat them. Hope you enjoyed this great discussion of pimping avoidance. Have a great day. I'm so